Hi guys, it's Ian from Golf Gear X Performance Fitting Centre. Today we have Ryan from the world of Kent. You will recognise him from our series, Birdies with Boynesy. Hi Ian, thanks for having me. Today we're going to be reviewing the Cobra Dark Speed Drivers. This year they have groundbreaking aerodynamic designs designed to increase club head speed. It's got a 10% larger power shell cut face to give you more robust speed across the face. An updated hot face design delivers more efficient speed and spin across the club face. For the ultimate in energy transfer, Cobra have repositioned the suspended power bridge to give even better ball speeds. There's three different types of heads in the family. We're going to start off with the Dark Speed Max. With the weight positioned in the back of the club head, this club should be easier for me to launch and find the fairway. So we'll be hitting the same loft, same shaft, which Ryan is? Uh, so we've got nine degree, uh, and then we've got the hazardous 6.5, 60 gram shaft in here. Really like the look of the all black, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, let's give it a go. Right, as you can see from Ryan's data, a very good ball speed in the 150s. Launch is very good at 12. Some good spin numbers there. Uh, decent carry number, 260 average with a total of 283. Uh, there is a little bit of offline left, uh, but as we mentioned, this has got the most draw bias of any of the range. Uh, so that's what it's designed to do. Club felt really nice, ball was coming off the face with some speed, was getting good distance out of that club. As Ian just said, maybe don't quite need as much draw bias as that. And the more I was warming up, sort of the straighter it was staying, but felt a really good club. As I said, cut, ball was coming off, hot off the face, was happy with the distance. Let's see how the other clubs work. Right, next up in the lineup is the Dark Speed X driver. It has interchangeable weights, the X, which we will have in the uh, low spin version to have the heavier weight at the front. But if we wanted a little bit out more MOI and a slightly higher launch, we could put the heavier weight at the back to maintain that launch and distance. So Ryan's gained a little bit more ball speed there, another mile an hour just over. It's actually had a couple of little high launchy ones, spin numbers very similar. And we have gained uh, 11 yards carry and uh, another 9 yards in total. And there is that one that did creep over 300 total really like the feel of the club gaining a little bit more distance with that again still getting that speed off the face as Ian mentioned back to that little fade controlled shot the the stock sort of shot I had maybe with the draw bias and a little bit of practice could get a bit more distance out of that but I really like that club really like the X head last but no means least is the LS this one's designed for players with greater club head speed seeking a low spin better aerodynamics. On this head, we've got interchangeable weights so we can set up for either a fade or a draw and we've got higher MOI with the weight at the back. How did that one feel, Ryan? Really like the LS head, getting a little bit more speed, a little bit more distance, as Ian has just mentioned. A couple to the left, so yeah, a little less forgiving in the head, but I'm sure once I get used to it, we can get this going a little bit straighter and maybe even a little bit further still. As we broached on earlier, the LS head has uh, come out the furthest for Ryan. He has had a couple of little pulley ones left, but we think that's possibly a little bit more alignment in the doors. A 276 carry average, 300 overall. The launch and spin numbers are absolutely spot on. More ball speed. So if I was fitting Ryan, I would stick him in the LS head. Three great drivers in the lineup there, all designed for slightly different characteristics in your swing. The LS worked best for Ryan, but he is a uh, head pro at the World of Kent now and a bit of a player. So Ryan, how did they feel for you? Yeah, really good. Really like the LS head. I think it was a great fit fitting technique to start off with the max head and work through, see the different shots that you can hit and how they're weighted differently and feel all three different heads. So we have got lots of different shafts, uh, lots of different loft options and say with the adjustable weight, it's very important to come and try these, get fitted and see how they perform for you. Everyone, thanks for watching. Ryan, thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me. We'll see you again soon. Take care.